Moravian College football team saw its two-game Centennial Conference winning streak come to an end on Saturday with a 27-14 loss to Juniata College at Rocco Cabo Field. It was the final home contest of the 2013 season, and the Greyhounds were unable to overcome a 17-0 first-half deficit. The defense, however, forced four turnovers to increase their conference-leading takeaway total to 22. The Eagles possessed the ball for 40 minutes on Saturday and gained 383 yards of offense. The game was won by stopping the Moravian offense, which put up a total of 93 points during the two-game win streak. With Juniata leading 10-0 in the second quarter, junior linebacker Kevin Bracken comes up with his team-leading third interception of the season and returns at 18 yards in Eagles territory. But Juniata's defense stayed strong and built its lead into the fourth quarter. That's when the Greyhounds defense took matters and the ball into their own hands. Junior defensive back Chris McGrath makes a jarring tackle and the ball is loose. Sophomore safety Anthony Orlando scoops it up and returns at 44 yards to the house. His second fumble recovery for a score in three weeks and the lead is down to 24-6. After an Eagles field goal, this time it's Reese Judge with the pick. The senior defensive back taps it to himself and adds a return of 33 yards but the Hounds are unable to convert. On the next Juniata possession, junior defensive back Ricky Sinek makes a diving interception and the Greyhounds are in business. On the first play after the pick, senior quarterback Robbie Moyer finds sophomore wide receiver Will McLaughlin with a perfect 22-yard pass for the touchdown. Moyer connected with sophomore Jimmy McCarthy for the two-point conversion. The onside kick failed with time running out and the Eagles ran out the clock. We need to establish a run to open some things up. I mean, we ended up throwing the ball 33 times. I think Robbie did a pretty good job of, of managing that also. But we just couldn't get it clicking in the run game. Um, what we did in the past couple weeks, it, you know, really helped us and really opened some things up in the past game. When we weren't able to do that, the effort was there. I mean, there's no question about that. I really do believe that Juniata has, you know, a, a great front three. They play well in the front seven. I thought often their offensive line played very well. And, you know, you're going to win and, and lose a lot of games with the, with the way you play up front. And it wasn't about effort. You know, it just was one of those days that, you know, we, we couldn't hit our shot. Um, but the kids played extremely hard. They played for 60 minutes. They battled through a lot of things. Um, I thought there was positives on both sides of the football when we watched the film on Sunday. Uh, but it was one of those games that we just could not get it going, um, really on both sides of the football in the first half. And that put us in a hole. We started off a little bit slow. Um... But we definitely picked it up, and I think nowadays, you know, with the, the explosive offenses, you know, to keep teams to, uh, I think it was, what, 27 or something like that, it's, it's not bad. Uh, we made a lot of good plays getting, getting the, uh, the ball back to the offense, which is our goal. You know, our offense could be explosive. The more we get them the ball, the more the more they could do for us. So, you know, that's definitely our ultimate goal. To see what they do on, on the offensive side of the ball is amazing, just turning turning the turnovers right into points. I mean, that, that's, that's the name of the game, essentially. So uh, when we do stuff like that, that's definitely the motivation to just get the ball, get the most time that we can give our offense and put them in the best position to make it as easy as it can for them. He's the vocal, emotional leader. Uh, he puts it out in the sleeve all the time, and it's great because people feed off that. And uh, he had that big interception. He had a nice tackle for a loss when we really needed a play um, and, and needed really someone to step and make a play, and he did it, and he took it upon himself. So that was great to see. And, and, and he's not a selfish player by any means. I mean, he's, he's out there doing his job, but he's doing it at a million miles an hour, and, and good things happen when you play like that. And I think a lot of guys are playing like that, and it's catching on. And, and, and really, you know, our, our you know, 11 guys on defense, I thought when you look across the board, grave, great effort, um, did a lot of good things. And, uh, you know, Kevin's a big uh, igniter uh, of that play on defense, there's no question. It was a, a, a cover three drop, and we, we run the play often. And uh, I have to actually say, um, you know, Coach and, and a couple of those guys of safety definitely wanted to stress that I get back there this week. You know, last week I didn't do the greatest job getting back there. But um, this week I got back there, I saw – uh, I believe it was trips left and a post was coming to the middle, you know, and I didn't think, think that the quarterback saw me, so I kind of just tried to time it up right. And, you know, he didn't see me, so he, he just let it go. And, you know, I knew it was coming, so I jumped it and just kind of took it as far as I could go, you know, just took, ran straight until I was going to get tackled pretty much. Will had a breakout game on Saturday, you know, and he, he was really had some nagging injuries at the beginning of the year that he was battling through, and certainly when you have those, Physical things you're dealing with sometimes it can take you away from the mental side of things also, um, and it's not easy. Uh, and Will really battled through that, got healthy. I thought he played well against Gettysburg and uh, had a great game this past week. He's a very physical receiver in, in, in blocking. Uh, you know, really there's not a guy that I think can tackle him one-on-one. -on -one. 
because uh, of his physicality, and uh, and that showed it, without question. He made some great plays. They started doubling him up a little bit um, and doing some things in, in the second half, but it was great to see Will finally healthy because now you can see what, what he can do on the field. The atmosphere is definitely different this week. You know, we always say we play a nine-game season and a one-game season at the end. You know, th this week is, is completely different than the other nine, you know, and, you know, we take it day by day. They're, you know, they're a good team. Uh, they're well coached, you know, they're not going to make mistakes, but we we could definitely, if we stick to our game plan and do what we have to do, um, we could definitely come out of there and win a win, I believe. But, um, you know, the guys just have to be focused, just like it is any week. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more intense out there on Saturday, and we have to stress out on the practice field and make sure everybody's ready to go.